Russian soldiers complain about heavy losses. Russian troops, many of them pressed into service involuntarily or under the false pretense of only being territorial guards, reveal that they are refusing to go to the front lines after their comrades are killed on suicide missions. On recent Telegram posts, the Russian soldiers suffering from poor morale say they are not deserting but that they will not willingly go to certain death by Ukrainian artillery, according to Kyiv Post media outlet. On July the 2nd, the Russian local news telegram channel Ostorozno Novosti published a video appeal from soldiers of Russia's 1428th Regiment. The mobilized men were supposed to serve in the territorial defense, are instead being sent on assaults near Bakhmut without training and normal equipment. The Russian recruits say in the video they had been coerced into volunteering for territorial defense and had never consented to frontline fighting when signing their enlistment contract. We don't want to carry out senseless and suicidal orders, they complained. The impressed enlistees say they are not deserting but refuse to follow suicidal orders. They say the situation became obvious when their comrades were killed by Ukrainian artillery fire when approaching the front lines in a convoy. Another similar appeal was published on Telegram. On June the 23rd, mobilized Russian men from Zaporizhia complained about heavy losses after the Ukrainian counter-offensive began. The soldiers said they have to hold open positions with almost no protection where they are shot at by the Ukrainian forces. The Ukrainians are hitting directly into the trench. There's no point in just sitting there, said a Russian serviceman. He also claimed that many of his comrades were left lying wounded at their posts because soldiers had to be evacuated in unsuitable passenger cars, undershelling on mined terrain.